Today I'm talking to a doctor of the musical arts and a trumpet player who now calls Windsor, Detroit home, but originally from Kelowna, BC. Russ Macklem joins me today, and you've just dropped your first official solo album, The Seth Detroit Connection, on September 29th. Now you've worked with tons of notable artists and done many projects. How does it feel to have something of your own out there? It feels really good. I waited a long time, you know, into my 30s to put something out that I felt was really cohesive and at the level that I wanted it to be at in terms of my own playing and also getting the players that I wanted and also, you know, in terms of my uh, writing. It feels great to have something that I'm really proud of, an artistic statement that's my first and I'm looking forward to doing more in the near future. The artists that are playing with you on this album, you got them together. They had never played together before this and then, so this is a live recording recording, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it is a live recording. We recorded it at the Fog Lounge in downtown Windsor. What you hear on the recording is basically the unedited second set. So it did that night how everything went down. Basically, we had a gig in Detroit the night before. We had one chance to play the music there. So we played the music that's on the record once in Detroit the night before. And then the next night, we were going to have just a brief rehearsal at Fog before the record. Uh, and unfortunately, border guards were not so nice to uh, oh. some of the um, African-American members of my band and held them at the border for some time. And so uh, we actually weren't able to even rehearse. So what's on the record is actually only the third time we'd ever played the music together. I think significant, you know, why that title. And there's a number of things in that title. You know, first of all, South Detroit was, of course, what was second in line for what Windsor was going to be called when, it, when, when the city was being named in the 19th century. So it's kind of interesting. And it's still obviously been a nickname for the city. Then having Detroit in the title was important because that's mostly where I make my living as a musician. And that connection is, you know, I sort of connected with Doc's to two of my favorite Detroit musicians, one of my favorite musicians from New York and one of my favorite musicians from Toronto, and then bringing them all here to Windsor. So, and then uh, maybe also built into that is my, my affinity for... Uh, older movies. I mean, The French Connection is one of my favorite movies, so <laughs> the South Detroit Connection kind of I just sort of came up with it and seemed cool, so. That is cool. Some of the members here you went to school with, our friends, like how did you get all these guys together? It started with a phone call from the drummer, my friend Adam Aruda, who we've been friends since 2010. I met him when we were both living in Toronto briefly, and soon after he went on and moved to Boston and then, and then to New York. But we were fast friends right away. We did a ton of playing together that first time only that. And so he's a friend that I haven't seen a lot, you know, but we had a you know, kind of friend that you talked to for a few hours a month, you know. So we were talking, and, and, and he's like, Russ, I haven't seen you in about six years, I think. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. Well, we should remedy that, you know. He said, and during the pandemic, he'd been reticent to visit his family in Toronto because of you know, travel restrictions, and he was afraid about his visa and such. So, so I'm, com I'm coming back to Canada, so why don't we do something? And I said, well, yeah, great. Why don't you, I'll get us a gig in Detroit and, and Windsor, and, you know, we can hang, and it'll be fun. He said, that's great. So that's kind of how it started. And then, you know, another very close friend of mine, Sam Dickinson, who's also on the record, who I went to University of Miami with. He lives in Toronto, and so then I called him, and I said, hey, do you want to just come down and play this gig with Adam? I found us a gig right away, and said, do you want to come down and play you know, these gigs with Adam and I in Windsor, Detroit? You know, he said, yeah, that would be great. So that was working out, and then, so I thought, well, I guess I better find a bass player. Yeah. And uh, so then I called... My first call, bass player, my good friend Jonathan Muir Cotton, and he said, yeah, I'd love to play, you know. So got him, and then I thought, well, you know, it'd be nice to have somebody else on the front line with me. So then I called, you know, another one of my best friends in Detroit, Kassan Belgrave, and they said, hey, you want to play these couple of dates in January? And he said, yeah, man, that'd be great. And then so after I'd made those calls, I kind of just was thinking about it for, even dreaming about it for a couple of days. I thought, man, like, even though these five voices had never met, like, I just, I could hear in my head how great it could sound. And uh, I just thought, well, what the hell? Why not uh, see if I can get it recorded, you know? And so that's when I reached out to Ron Skinner, who is the owner of uh, TQM Recording Company, the label it's on. And we had met during the pandemic. He had heard me on a live stream that I was putting out when I was playing parking lot shows out in front of Fog Lounge with some uh, local great Windsor musicians. And uh, he sort of got in touch with me and he couldn't really believe that uh, <laughs> that there were musicians of that caliber down here still. Right. I don't know. But anyway, so 
he, 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 uh, he just basically said, hey, anytime I can record you, I'd love to have you on my label. And so at that point, I reached out to him and I said, hey, Ron, what would you feel about doing like a live recording? One of his previous projects, he had had Adam on it. So he was kind of familiar with Hassan's father, Marcus Belgrave. And so he, he, he thought it was, you know, a crazy idea, a good idea, given the caliber of musicians that I had assembled. He happened to be free and agreed to do it, and that's just sort of how it all came together. So, oh. And as far as the music, as far as the music on the record was concerned, I, I started going out as a band leader more in the last, within the last year and a half around Michigan. This set of music sort of emerged as a suite that was really working on uh, dates I was doing at the clubs with, uh, um, with versions of my own band Detroit, and so I thought, well, I kind of edited this suite that's on the record for this particular band and uh, that's kind of how that came together so everything just sort of was sort of serendipitous and you know we had a we stuffed about 70 people in the fog lounge and it was we had a great audience and I'm just yeah very thankful that it all came together that way and it was pressed to vinyl which actually enhanced it it's certainly an experience yeah the original not necessarily the, the quality on uh, streaming but the original digital sounds amazing but the vinyl, it's, it's cool to like uh, having my own music on vinyl. I guess, but I'm not a massive collector, but I, I try and only buy like my very favorite records on vinyl and that stuff that you still can't get anywhere else. Like There's still some amazing music that's never been repressed. So to keep my collection, not spending all my money on records, I kind of keep it that way. But it, it's very cool to hear it in that medium because it sort of sounds like, an, you know, it sounds contemporary. It sounds like an old record. Yeah. You know? So it's pretty cool. Well, and it's really cool how much you've taken to the Windsor, Detroit area. Are you still co-leading the collective bringing together musicians from Windsor, Detroit called United? I have been doing that. I'm sort of putting it on hold right now. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate thing with that project is that I really need the cooperation of a lot of factors to get it happening. Right. Like, you know, the very last couple of shows we did, I I was fortunate to get a grant through the um, Windsor Endowment for the Arts. Yeah, and so that helped pay everybody because it's it basically unless I get a newspaper article or I get on CTV or something locally, then it's hard to sell those shows. Right, uh, hard to get the word out. So I love doing them, but if I don't get a big enough audience, then I, I lose. You know, I personally lose money, and you know, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not in a position to do that, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, in the future, I, I'm sort of. It's on hold right now. I'm just trying to develop my own career stateside more because that's just. It's more financially viable. I would like to continue that when possible. I'm sort of sl- slowly searching for maybe some kind of partner that could help financially with it. And you're also an educator. So you do some sessional lectures at Windsor University. Are you doing some in Detroit as well? Not currently, no. But I am mean, always searching for some kind of teaching position right now. Okay. Where you went to school in Miami, were you teaching there too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I was a teaching assistant at the University of Miami. I taught all kinds of taught ensembles, private lessons, studio classes, theory classes, all that kind of stuff there. Yeah. And if someone wanted to play the trumpet and get lessons from you, can they get private lessons? Absolutely. Yeah. I have a number of private students now. Yeah. I love teaching privately too, all ages. And that's in well, Windsor and Detroit? Right? Yeah, yeah, actually most of my students come from Michigan, so. Well, it's awesome to hear that you have officially released your first solo album, The South Detroit Connection, that came out September 29th and it is available now. And I want to thank you so much, Russ, for joining me and, and talking about it and what you're up to in the Windsor, Detroit area. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate it.